Hey, good morning, good afternoon to you. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. I do got some pretty big updates as far as our tropics and what's going on, as well as the storms y'all about to get now. If you remember, we have this cold front coming down. I showed you in yesterday's video what your temperatures are going to be like. It is going to create all these storms in the southeast and the northeast as well. Now, if you've never been here before, hello. <laughs> My name is Mark. I upload every single day, just not Friday from sundown to Saturday from sundown. That's when I take my Sabbath. But make sure you hit the subscribe button because I do upload all year around. Now, not only were these storms, guys, and Tropical Storm Claudette leaving out the, the northeast, we have a lot of energy, and now it's showing up in a couple of models, even a Euro, that we have something big coming. So I'm going to alert you as far as what we do have, and I will show you the wind shear and the chances of this actually forming. Now, if you look at the videos on the top left, the very top one shows you the, the deep layer wind shear, and you can see how this wind shear stays off to the east and southeast of this energy after it gets through the Western Caribbean. And the one right above my head shows you the P-Watt anomaly. So you can see all the precipitation that's coming with this storm that's coming into the Gulf. And it's not only affecting where it's going to landfall, but the rain bands will hit Florida, it will hit Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana. Everybody's going to be affected by this storm if this does play up. And y'all know how I always like to wait for updated information. And the 8 a.m. update is out this morning. And disturbance one has went from a 10% chance all the way to a 20% chance within the next 48 hours or the next five days. They're both 20% chance. Now, a lot of models is showing that this disturbance will go up to the Leeward and Windward Islands and it'll go off over Puerto Rico and get spun out. But the GFS is showing that this will disappear and re-manifest himself back up into the Western Caribbean. The dust will be very thin by then and there is a pocket of low to no wind shear that I can get into the Gulf. The Euro is picking up that the next wave that is coming is actually our potential high velocity that we need to worry about. And the disturbance in the East Pack has 40% chance within the next five days, 0% chance in the next 48 hours. Now, as this cold front comes on down and it will create these storms for you guys, you do have severe weather for the Northeast today and you do have a tornado chance for 5% in the brown and a 2% in the green for today, as well as some hail and some winds. So you gotta watch out for all three factors today. And these are the same storms that just passed from the Midwest to the Ohio Valley, put a lot of power outage as well. So be careful for power outage in the Northeast. And right now the outage is actually devastating. Uh, Michigan is at 100,000 homes without power. Indiana, 55,000. Ohio, 25,000. Illinois, 21,000. And Puerto Rico is still going back and forth with 12,000 again without power. But you can see where the storms came and they're going to be headed this way today. They're not going to be as severe, but there could be problems. And it looks like a lot of the outages is in lower Michigan. So remember, if you go to poweroutage.us, this updates every 10 minutes, and you can see which company is actually working on your power. And if your neighbors next to you or the county next to you has power, you're probably next. Now your temperatures today, as this cold front starts coming in, and you'll be in 90s in the mid-Atlantic and the northeast, certain places, especially the south of Texas. But as your day goes along and your evening, this cold front will start coming in. And when tonight comes, it's going to knock them temperatures back down to where everybody's really cool, especially in the Midwest. I, I woke up this morning, felt like I was camping. It felt so chilly outside. It was nice. Tomorrow morning when the heat comes back, you'll see it does get over 100 again in the southwest, but it only lasts a few hours as this goes right back down immediately, and y'all will have cooler temperatures in Ohio Valley and the northeast. It will get down to the lower 60s in the upper part of the states in the south. The lower part will be in the 70s. And this will put Texas in the 70s as well. Uh, the upper half will be in the 60s. This could drop a little bit lower, but it's mostly going to be the central U.S. that's going to feel this coldest part of this chill. And when I check our potential velocity anomaly, which shows whether we have updraft and some, some potential very strong storms coming anywhere from 120W to 60W, which is our area, and from then on is the MDR. And you can see right around the 26th, we get some energy build up around the 24th. This is the wave that I'm following now. And then right around the 26th, we do get some high potential velocity that does come out of this system. And it is right below our Gulf of Mexico, guys. The wave that's moving from next to the islands where the NOAA is looking at now has a 20% chance. Euro is showing that that really don't have a good chance 
to make it. It will stay hidden for a while. It could come out of the Western Caribbean. But this next wave that's coming after the one that we're looking at now, right around the 29th, is according to the Euro, that it does have a lot of opportunity. It is rotating and it is a massive size of storms. And it is more southern than the other waves that have been coming off a little bit more northern where the, the water temperatures quite aren't warm enough yet. But it is down here. And the dust is going to be very thin. So I'm showing there's not going to be nothing that really going to stop this from keep forming and keep moving west. So Euro is picking up on something, but it's showing that it's not going to form until around the 2nd of July. GFS is showing that that first wave will become something. So let's look through our SpaghettiO models, guys. If y'all like these ensembles, you like these SpaghettiO models where we can look and see what the potential is, hit that like button. Let's keep the updates going. Let's keep notifying people of what could happen. And you can see that right around the 30th, we have potential for some 980s to 999s coming into the Gulf of Mexico. And some of the spaghetti models show that it will curve. And this one shows that it could strengthen towards Louisiana. And that's a 960 to a 979. Now, I'm showing that there'll be a lot of wind shear on the eastern side of the Gulf of Mexico. So if it does get past the Western Caribbean, it cannot go to the east towards Florida. It would have to curve around and either go to the Panhandle, Louisiana, or I'll keep going straight which will give it its longest track and warmest waters. That's why it would show most intensity for Texas. So when we look ahead a little bit and see what the possibility cyclone uh, ensembles could be, you do see that it could be some 980s, which is that blue, 980 to 999. If it curved around the wind shear over here by the Panel of Florida, it could intensify uh, for a moment. But if this one can just go through the center of the Gulf of Mexico, we're really not direct on where the impact could be, western Louisiana, northeast Texas or southeast Texas, but the ensembles are showing that it could be some intensification if it does go that way. So let's look at the perturbed members and see what the possible outruns could be uh, with this tropical wave. And I tell you what, it is showing in a lot of ensembles and they're really picking up on this. This is literally starting in seven days. I know some people are saying, oh, it's two weeks out. You can't predict that. This is in seven days days it will be in our western caribbean so if you watch the ensemble here on 21 you can see it does get into the western caribbean gets into the gulf and curves towards texas if you watch right here on 28 you can see that it does get into the gulf and it could curve back towards the panhandle of florida so all options really are on the table here's another one on the first ensemble it does get into the gulf of mexico and it does turn towards panhandle florida and alabama if you watch Ensemble 26 right here, you'll see that it can go over the Yucatan because the wind shear pushing it a little further south. And it gets into that Gulf where it's very warm waters and it could intensify and go towards Texas. Matter of fact, yesterday I posted the possibility that a model guidance could get down to 945 uh, right there, which would be a Cat 3, Cat 4 major hurricane. Uh, I do post it on my community tab on my channel. It's right next to the, the home in a video tab. You just click on community. And you will see what I post. Now, there's many other ensembles to look at. They're all showing that this energy will make it to the Western Caribbean. So from then point on, we really need to take a good look at this system. Now, this is the GFS. The GFS does see further than everybody else. And this is right around the 28th. This is literally seven days away from it getting through the Caribbean and forming up somewhere in the Western Caribbean. And on this run, you can see how it gets all the way down to a very low millibar and it curves to the west and I'll show you why is because it gets a lot of shear over there around that time and as it continues to go west it's in a lot of warm waters it gets very strong it intensifies all the way down to a 959 so far and then as it goes on land it curves north and it stays pretty strong for quite some time now there is some thin dust that will be in the area, but it won't be real heavy. Uh, if you take a good look, you can see right around the 30th and the 1st that the thin dust, uh, the dry air from the thin dust, it does get into our Gulf of Mexico, but it comes late according to this model run and it don't affect the storm at all. All the dust will be later. I'm going to show you what else popped up on this model guidance as well. Uh, so far it was showing a 959 going towards Corpus Christi somewhere around Friday, July 2nd. So this is going to be sometime around July 4th uh, weekend. Now, a lot of people say that this is not accurate. It's only showing one model, but it's showing multiple times. You see the location. 
a 9.59. Here's yesterday run, right after I posted my video, same location, a 9.46. So it shows it even worse yesterday. And I didn't post that, I just put a picture on my community tab. But yet I got attacked just for notifying people what the possibilities could be. And it's trending. So let's look at the shear and let's see what the possibilities can be. Here we are on the 28th. It's literally seven days away and a surface low pressure forms up in the Western Caribbean. And as you go by your, your hours, you can see that the shear gets a very low. Actually, we had an upper level low we saw yesterday. It went all the way to Cuba. The update is showing that this upper level low can actually go all the way towards the Yucatan, which would put the shear curving right around here, and which would give this a north to a northeast push. But as you go closer in time, you can see that very strong shear does a very uh, east to northeast push against this storm. It could keep it weak for a little bit. But then the shear changes because the upper level low retracts back to the west, and it leaves this big open door in for this system to come right on in and start to strengthen. Now at this point, this is on a 30th. And on this point, you don't have the shear bothering this, this system. All the shear is in the central of the Caribbean. It's over to, over to the Bahamas. So there's no shear in the Gulf at this point, And this system has all the room it wants to intensify and wherever it's going to go it, as far as Louisiana, Texas, or wherever it may be. No shear. Not until it gets to northern Texas. Then it starts encountering shear and it moves up in the jet stream and moves away. And when we look at the dust layer, you can see the dust layer. But if you look at all this uh, clear skies, all this white right here, this is has no dust in it. This is going to be moving into the Caribbean and it's actually going to clear out. This dust is actually thinning out at this point. It's not really big. The last plume is, is going through our Caribbean now but it gets thinned out as far as the dust goes. It don't have a lot of dust in its way uh, to slow this system down. It's very thin in the Caribbean. Now this will keep the system hidden a little bit, but as soon as this plume of dust moves over, it's gonna expose itself. And you can see this right here, this is from NASA, this is your dust. And you see right around the 28th, they get some dust that's in there, but it's very light dust over Western Caribbean. And by the 30th and the 1st, when it gets into the the Gulf of Mexico, there's none of this heavy dust. All this heavy dust is way over here by all this shear. And just so you updated on what that actually could bring, anywhere from a 945 millibar to a 964 would be a major Hurricane Cat 3. It would bring 9 to 12 feet of storm surge and sustained winds of at least 111 to 130 miles per hour. And the damage would be extensive and i'm gonna play this for you so you can see exactly what's going on with these storms because you have a lot of storms that's going to be over florida and southeast this cold front is going to bring a lot more storms to people plus you got the storms coming to the northeast so you can see everything that will happen for you time and date is on the top left i got it moving quick that way it'll keep going and looping through so you can get a good eye of what's going on plus you have that tornado warning in the northeast so you gotta be very aware of that now what I want to read from this morning is not only to protect you guys, but it's to protect myself as well. Uh, all I'm trying to do is notify people of what the potential can be. Uh, a lot of people want it on multiple models, but it is, can't, it's not showing up on multiple models because only GFS can see so far. Now, it's seven or eight days away from forming into the Western Caribbean, and I will keep updating you. Uh, but just for notifying people, you shouldn't be calling people Satan when you've known me for so long. It's not Christ-like, and it's not right. So God bless all of you. I know it's a very stressful time. We're going into hurricane season. I'm just trying to get you as much information as possible so you know what to expect. This high pressure, this very strong system getting into the Gulf is trendy. Now, as far as it being strong and going towards Texas, that's just common knowledge that the longer it travels through the Gulf of Mexico, the stronger it will be. And Texas is the furthest from the Caribbean. But I'm going to pray for you, as I always do. God bless every single one of you. I hope you have a very blessed day today. A lot of you dealing with a lot of power outages. I do hope that comes back very quickly. 
I don't see more storms in the forecast for a lot of you that's dealing with that now. So it should be coming back quickly. Please share the video. Help me inform others. Uh, if you have a very bad negative comment, leave your comment. Just no, no reason to post it five or ten times wishing death on me. That's not right. God bless you. At the same time, let's read from a word of God. Our Father. One that knows the true way. Amen. First Thessalonians 5. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are, ye are all the children of light, and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. Therefore let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep in the night, and they that be drunken, are drunken in the night. But let us, who are of the day, be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet the hope of salvation. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together, and edify one another, even as also ye do. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you, and are over you in the Lord, and admonish you, and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake, and be at peace among yourselves. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, Support the weak. Be patient towards all men. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, and everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Quench not the spirit, despise not prophesying, Prove all things, hold fast that which is good, abstain from all appearance of evil, and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly, and I pray God, your whole spirit and soul and body, be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he that calleth you, who also will do it. Brethren, pray for us. Greet all the brethren with an holy kiss. I charge you by the Lord that this epistle be read unto all the holy brethren. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. The storms are going to be going on for a while. Hang tight. Prepare. That's all you can do. Like the video if you liked it. I just want to warn you all. Hope you have a very, very blessed day. All glory does go to Yahweh, God of Jacob, Father of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Father, your Father. And he's in control. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah, guys. Have a very, very blessed day.